The complete classics collection from Native Instruments is exclusive to Plugin Boutique, and if you buy it at the time I'm publishing this video, then you also get a very cool plugin for free. Let's take a look. Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you're well. One of my favorite companies, Native Instruments, renowned for their great hardware and plugins for music production, have teamed up with my favorite place to go to get great deals on plugins. I'm of course talking about Plugin Boutique. Now to celebrate their union, they've put together a couple of collections which are exclusive to Plugin Boutique. One of them being the Complete Future Classics Collection, but what I'm gonna be talking about in this video is the Complete Classics Collection. Now at the time of publishing this video, you can also get a free Native Instruments plugin along with this collection. That's at the time of publishing. You're going to have to follow the link in the description down below to check at the time you're watching this if that's still available. Now there may be another great deal available at that time. There always seems to be a plugin boutique. I can't guarantee it, but definitely check out that link in the description to find out. So let's get started and see what's contained in this great collection. So Massive is a really popular wavetable synthesizer. We can see the regular controls you'd expect to see on the front here. Um, some oscillators down the side here, some modulation oscillation, some filters up here, and you know, you get the picture. You synth heads could play with this until your heart's content. But us mere mortals will probably head over to the presets and then sort of adapt things a little from there. So let's go over to the browser over here, and then we start to get an idea of the massive amount of presets we have because if i choose one of these bank names this one here we can just slide all the way down there's just so many presets here another one here so on and so forth far too many for me to show you in one video so instead i'll just go over to some favorites a handful of favorites which i've saved now the idea here is just to give you an idea of the sort of quality of the sound but the range of sounds is much bigger than I'm actually going to show you here. Let's start off with, uh, I think it's called Additivum. Okay, we're off to a good start. Now let's try Alpha State. That, um, this one's got a great name actually, Amsterdam. <laughs> now for something a little bit different, uh, bell or pad is it a question. The answer is both. Now let's try something completely different. We've had a lot of sort of pad stuff there. Let's try out this one. It's called Classic Drive. It's a kind of a bass sound, this one. We could definitely use that right out of the box. And finally, let's go for something which is not sort of melodic or bassy or anything like that. Something which is a bit more, I guess, more like a soundscape special effect kind of a thing. This is called displacement. So a lot of quality there. As I say, for me, being a mere mortal, I'd probably be starting off by going through those presets and then adapting those sounds a little bit using the controls we've got on the front end here. 
Now, although it doesn't technically come with this collection, I just want to quickly mention Freak from Native Instruments, because if you buy this collection at the time I'm making this video, then you do get Freak for free on Plugin Boutique. Now, that's going to last for about another week, I think, or so. So if you're watching at the time I've published, um, then it's a good time to buy. After that date, I'm sorry, I don't think it's going to be there, but there may be something else, so still worth checking out the link. So what is Freak? It's an oscillator, okay? And if you don't know what an oscillator really does or how useful it is, you're about to hear. We're going to start off with a very plain sort of synth sound with Freak switched off. Okay, now let's switch it on to get some oscillation. And we can play with the stereo width here. Just change the frequency. And the type. some harmonics in. So incredibly useful. You can you don't have to add it to synth things like synths like this. You could add it to, you know, keyboards, guitars, vocals if you want. Try it on anything. Have some fun. Absinthe 5 is another popular and versatile synthesizer from Native Instruments. And if you want to go ahead and create your own sounds, there's lots of options here to do that. But I am going to be heading over to the browser again. Now, I think, in my personal opinion, the strength of Absinthe 5 is really totally in its ability to create soundscape type sounds or to use soundscape type sounds. And to that end, I have prepared a few favorites over here in my favorites folder. I'm just going to go through them now and that should demonstrate that point I think now a lot of what I'm going to do here is really just on one or two fingers I have to say in terms of what I'm playing on the keyboard because these sounds are what I'm going to describe as sort of fairly complex and I think this is sort of typical of the presets that you get with Ab Absinthe so let's start off with this one um, I think it's called fourth dimension <laughs> Okay, so it's a bit of a sort of a special effect type thing. Let's go on to something um, with a bit more melody in it and pitch. Let's have a listen. This is called Above. It's so usable, uh, particularly for sort of movie stuff, etc. Let's go to this one, Ashes. Mmm, let's try a big piano string. Okay, Blue Sun. I really like this one, computer keys. And finally, let's have a listen to uh, what's it called? Ethereal Cloud Pad. I 
think that's absolutely wonderful. Absinthe 5. So included in the collection is this wonderful delay plugin called Replica. One of my favorites this is, and I'm going to be applying it to this virtual acoustic guitar. Let's just have a quick listen to that guitar without Replica switched on. Okay, so let's start off by switching it on and we're going to listen to it with this modern mode selected, okay? Now we've got a low cut and a high cut filter there and also some saturation in this modern mode. Have a listen again. Now let's move on to this vintage digital mode. This sounds different again here. We've got a quality control. I'll mess around with that a little bit. And then finally, in terms of the modes, we go to the diffusion mode. This is probably my favorite mode, to be honest with you. And I think you'll hear why right away. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's go back to the modern mode, something a bit more straightforward sounding. I'm going to skip the middle section and go straight over to this side where we've got some modulation effects. Okay, they're switched off at the moment. So we'll go to the first one, which is the phaser effect. And then we also have this filter effect. Okay, so a modulated filter sounds like this. So those are some nice options to have there on the delay. Of course, we've got this control in the middle where we're controlling the sort of time of the delay. There's some different modes there. I've got it set to milliseconds at the moment, but you can see that we've got a number of different modes there. You can obviously set it to the tempo of your particular project. Um, and then once we've got that set, we've also got these sort of different types down here. We're on normal at the moment. I'll just cycle through what we've got so you can hear the difference. effect ping pong So there we have it, Replica. It's just one of those plugins, very straightforward to use, great fun to muck around with, but I think the sound of it is absolutely gorgeous. So FM8 is a frequency modulation synth which has many features for you to create and adapt to your sounds, all of which I'm going to skip over for this video and go straight to, of course, the browser where we can see all of the presets. I'm just in one folder here and you can see that there's many, 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 many presets there. So I've selected just a handful, pop them into my favorites. I'm going to be going through those very quickly. And I focus on, well, I haven't focused, but there's a few of these which use the arpeggiator feature, which is in FM8, which I think is one of the strong features in here. So that's why I've included these. But let's start off with this one, After Sun. Ambient Mallet. By the way, that's just done all with one finger on the keyboard, just in case you're wondering. Uh, this one, Aqua Atmo. Now, below freezing. Brilliant. 
breather. Now dandy. Electric Rock. <laughs> so much I could do with that. And finally, let's finish off with this one. What's it called? Uh, Galapagos. I don't know what that means. Let me know in the comments if you think you know what that's all about. Let's have a listen. That is FM8. So don't forget, if you want to get that free Freak plugin, which I spoke about earlier, and you're watching this around about the time of publishing, follow that link in the description down below right away. And even if you're watching this in the future, by the way, how are things in the future? Let me know about that in the comments down below. Anyway, uh, follow the link anyway in the description. There may be another great deal available. Now, completely off topic, if you are one of my wonderful Cakewalk users and you also happen to use Facebook as well, could you follow the link in the description down below for my new Cakewalk group? I would love to see you there. Everybody's friendly, helping each other out, inspiring each other. It's a great place. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video.